With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The students, in this given question, we were asked geometry of NiCO whole 4. So this was the one complex and we are given PdCl4 2 minus. So basically, we need to find the respective geometry. So first consider this given complex. We are having Ni. CO whole 4. So this carbonyl is going to be strong field ligand. So first of all work upon the oxidation state. So X this is neutral ligand. So 0 multiplied by 4 and overall charge not given. So we assume it to be 0. So value of X turns out to be 0 only. That means nickel is present in ground state. So what is the configuration? It's going to be argon followed with 4s2 and we are left with 3d8. So if I represent over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 4 is 2. Now due to the strong field again present over here what's going to show? It's going to pair with this one. Now this will be vacant so they are going to back shift. So new set of orbitals which we are going to have right now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, 10. So this will be fulfilled because of this pairing and backtracking of this one. So we are left with this 4s is going to be vacant now and 4p is already vacant. So what set of hybridization it's going to undergo? It's going to undergo sp3 type of hybridization to adjust 4 set of vacant orbital for this CO ligand to come. So this is going to have sp3 which is a tetrahedral geometry. Tetrahedral. Now consider the second complex which is given as pdcl4 2 minus complex. Calculate the oxidation state x then we have minus 1 multiplied by 4 then equal to minus 2. So this turns out to be positive of 2 only. Now if you calculate the configuration for ground state of palladium. So what is this palladium? 46. So palladium is going to have 46 number then its configuration is going to be krypton. Ground state configuration I am writing. So it's going to be what? Followed with our 4d will be fully filled 4d is the 10 here no involvement or the filling of 5s will be taken so this is the stable condition for the fulfilled d configuration so if you want to ionize the second state what you want to do you need to disturb this stable configuration so its configuration is going to be argon you are left with now 4d8 only so if i represent 4d8 over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so what happened Due to this more Z effective in case of palladium as compared to our nickel. So nickel is having from the third D transition element then we have palladium. So over here in this case size tends to be somewhat reducing because of the filling of more electrons in 5D and effective nuclear charge will be increased. So this will form more stable square planar complexes as compared to the tetrahedral complexes. So here ligand factor is not going to decide. So the deciding factor of the metal and its effective nuclear charge will take place. So it's going to form the stabilized square planar complex. So what will happen? This is going to pair up with this one. So what we are going to have this set of orbital as the vacant one and already 4s is sorry 5s is already vacant and 5p is vacant. So what set of hybridization it will undergo? DSP2. So this is going under TSP2 type of hybridization which is a square planar geometry. So this is how we have found out their geometries which is going to be matched with option D. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.